has abstained or because he described our military as useless and the military professionally abstained from partisan politics and conducted themselves professionally, he would do anything to stage a coup himself. Quote on unquote. He also posted at random a video of a burning V8 vehicle. And this same guy is asking the police administration to allow him to demonstrate with weapons in this country. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, how would you describe this recklessness by Oliver Volker Bermowo and his gangster friends who are planning something against this, this state? For us, we are honestly at a loss at how idiotic these political self-seekers who are mere politicians of fortune and their enablers have been talking about or what are they thinking we don't know what they are thinking these so-called fix the country gangsters are calling for accountable governance listen but in their hearts and minds are stained with impunity our nation wreckers the fools and the gangsters Oliver Bakawa and his friends take heed of advice and listen to the words and wisdom of Napoleon Bonaparte and Dr. King and let's follow or else they will follow the corpse to the grave like the stubborn fly if they are not careful we the youth has had enough and we are ready to protect the constitution of the republic of ghana and defend our homeland ghana calling on inspector general of police first of all we are calling on civil society organizations the clergy the security agencies and anybody who matters in ghana to condemn this barbaric action or condemn this motive of this group of people or whatever his name is god bring captain smart a fifa or and the other one what's his name um mensa thompson and make sure the law deal with them swiftly we don't care whether somebody has come out to deny that he was not part of whatever group whatever the police must take action swiftly to deal with the situation with immediate effect we cannot as a youth sit down and allow this impunity to go on other than that we are also sounding a warning to those people who have ulterior motive and are still out of impunity want to move to the broadcasting house want to move to the jubilee house want to move to any part of a state institution to take the laws into their own hands and breach the public law or public order act 1994 act 419 we the law abiding youth of this country are red alert on red alert and we will meet them squarely if they dare make any move we will meet them squarely if they dare make any move thank you very much